previously on Broken Sylvia. So before we continue, let's just have a quick look of what we've been up to these last few months. So pretty much, we got the car as a wreck. It still had a drivetrain in it, so with the help of a few friends, we got the engine and the gearbox out and returned it to the previous owner. After that, we signed a few papers and the car was officially in my name. As I was rebuilding my S14 Sylvia at the same time, that car drained all the funds, so the Skyline just sat around for about 4 months. So after a lot of saving, I finally made my first order through Nissan, which included the front radiator support and the two metal R34 GTR rear quarter panels. As parts started coming in, I spoke to my neighbor Pep about the situation and the whole project, and he was happy enough to jump on board and help me out with it. Pretty much, I wanted to do a lot of the work myself and learn how to do it, but I still needed some professional guidance and in the end I'm really really happy with how everything turned out. So this is pretty much where we are. Uh, we took a crash car and we replaced both rear quarter panels and the front radiator support. Now I'm only missing a few bits and pieces until I have the full kit for the R34 GTR conversion and this is where we are right now. <laughs> As you can probably see, there is stuff everywhere. Cars, parts, wheels, tools, you name it. It's just been thrown in there while I was away. Uh, this morning, Danny and I pushed the Skyline in here. There's also a trailer. So my job now is to rearrange everything roughly uh, how I would want it. And then once Lee and Chris are back from their shifts, we can go right through it and everybody can have their own individual working area. And there will also be shared areas. So I'm just gonna rearrange things so at least I can do a little bit of work tomorrow after school. I'm looking for a way inside your mind 
It's a haze of mysteries All I see is smoke and mirrors And the reflecting These things are built like tanks. So after pushing this around, it makes the skylines feel a lot easier. Now it's time to move the black barracuda. I was hoping I would be able to start it, but it's got no battery. So I guess we're gonna push this one as well. So as you guys can see, this space is absolutely huge. It's 305 square meters, and I think there's about 10 meters up in the air as well. So plenty of room for shelving, uh, to store stuff away, to make more room for working on the cars on the ground. This is the corner I rebuilt my S14 in. As I mentioned, I didn't pay a cent uh, for rent because Danny, my best friend, his dad owns the whole property, which means I was allowed to use that corner free of charge for about 12 months. Once that car went home, I was left without a workshop, so in the meantime, got chatting to my neighbor Chris, and we came up with the decision and spoke to Danny's dad as well to rent out this whole space and split the rent between, uh, between five people, which include Chris, his friend Lee, my dad, me, and my friend Harry. So we're all taking part in paying the rent for the workshop, and it's pretty much a brand new facility with awesome lighting, good security, and I even have my own workbench. So I'm more than stoked about everything that's happening. I have plenty of room to work on this car, rebuild it, get more videos out, and we will be getting a rotisserie in the near future as well for that car over there. What I'm pointing out is the new project car. We've already filmed the sequence. It's already in the workshop, so keep your eyes peeled for that. That's gonna come within the next few weeks as well, I believe. We're gonna release the new project build. Project car. So, let's get back to work, I guess. Who? Hey. What are you doing? This video is all workshop related. It's not just about pushing cars in and out and cleaning stuff up. It's 
It's also about storage and equipment. So before I start working on the cars, I want to get all those things out of the way. So it makes life a lot easier when tackling a big job like that Skyline. So in the past, you've seen me use this toolbox on my S14. I've pretty much taken the, the whole car apart and back together with this toolbox. It comes with everything you need. It's made by SP Tools and it's not mine. So I decided to get myself one. So this is the big box that comes with it and these are the tools. As you guys can probably tell by now, I am absolutely stoked with my new purchase. Pretty much everything is brand new, has its own spot so you'll know exactly if you're missing a few tools here and there. And it's a great investment to make right at the start before tackling a big job because as I mentioned, it'll make life a hell of a lot easier. And the best part about it is, it didn't really kill the bank either, so that's another bonus when you're on a bit of a budget. This will be more than enough tools to take a car apart and put it back together because I've done it in the past with this exact toolbox so I know that everything will work for me. I will expand my range a little bit, get a few breaker bars, torque wrenches and if we get to the engine building stage as well we will need some uh, specialty tools. But for now this will be more than enough for what I'm doing. I know this video has been a bit of a drag with a lot of workshop stuff but we have finally set up my area which means we can start working on the skyline.
As you can see, the engine bay is absolutely disgusting, but it kind of works in my favor because it's gonna make for a better before and after. So right now I'm going through things, taking notes of what holes I need to keep, what holes I'm allowed to weld up, what needs to get relocated. For example, the fuse box is not going to be in the engine bay anymore. It's getting pulled out and in the near future, it'll get relocated under the dashboard. So that's another area I need to concentrate on, take notes on what holes we're allowed to weld up and what we should keep. While other examples such as the power steering, we're not gonna have power steering, uh, power steering pump that runs off the engine. Uh, most likely going to do electric power steering. So all these hoses are getting pulled out along with the brackets and they're getting ditched in the bin to have an overall nicer finish in the engine bay. So right now, let's continue pulling this thing apart before we give it a good clean and see what we're truly working with. The engine bay is an absolute hack job. Somebody's cut bigger holes for intercooler pipes, so yeah, it's my job now to go in there and repair it all. So in the next episode, you guys are going to be seeing me refinishing this engine bay to its former glory. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this sort of content, consider subscribing, and we might add an extra little thing to the next episode and see if Danny will take us for a spin in his S15 Sylvia once it's back from the workshop. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunk in. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bucket. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I did be the pot. I'll make you all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time.